talk about day two of the ayahuasca retreat and just tell it as it is, um, as honestly as I can. Uh, it's now the day after the whole retreat is finished and I'm back home and it was an absolute um, mind blown experience. Uh, if you haven't seen my video of part one, day one, you must see that, check that out. Um, that's, I'll put a link to it somewhere so you can check it out, but this is day two. Day one was intense and uh, we were sort of told that day two would be a little bit more lighter and uh, more visuals and more enjoyable and I thought, okay, I can handle that. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and so day two it was the acacia plant it was almost the Australian version of ayahuasca um, as powerful if not more so this one was powerful let me tell you um, so it was broken up in the two plants two drinks and off the hand I don't know but I'll put them up on the screen so you know we were to drink one wait 40 minutes and then drink the other plant and so Again, I opted for the smaller plant because the, the other night when I had the small thing, it was very, very heavy for me. Um, it was so intense. I know that I couldn't cope with a larger one. So I drank the first one and, and sat on my bed and waited and looking up at the stars. Again, beautiful night, surrounded by such beautiful people. Beyond amazing. And nothing happened for about 20, 30 minutes and then all of a sudden I felt this numbness throughout my entire body. Now I will tell you that for most people uh, no one felt anything, not much at all for the first drink and we were told that um, most people won't experience anything, some will have some visuals and I had no visuals, I had a numbness, uh, my whole entire body became almost like paralyzed. I could still lift up my hands, but just sort of want to flop back down. And, um, so then the second drink come around, and something inside me said, you're only to take a small portion of this second drink. I listened to my intuition then, and Julian come round to pour and said, how much do you want? And I said, very, very, very small. He poured still quite a bit in for me anyway. I, I barely took a sip of this other one and I couldn't drink anymore and again I began to purge, vomit. And what was coming up for me was a lot of uh, bile and it was coming from deep, deep within, deeper than last night's one. It was really, really deep purging, getting rid of crap in my body. But then things began to take my mind off it and I began to hear other people, their experiences, I could hear them going through stuff, and people laughing and, and sometimes I found joy in that and I would connect with that and laugh. But I certainly felt an intensity of love and, um, and the message out of this one was for me, and this message came right at the end, right at the very end. That purging died off and I began to just lay there in peace and gratitude. And the message come to me, I just, my intention for this one was, please just tell me what I need to know. What's beneficial for me now? And the words come to me and said, no more toxins. No more toxins in your body. And I know what Mother Ayahuasca is referring to there. You see, over the past, even over the past year, alcohol has been, um, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my red wine, and for the most part, it's red wine and wine. And it become to be a habit and almost a daily habit, sometimes a daily habit. Sometimes most people, you know, could have drink for two or three days and have five days off. I was drinking for six days and having one day off. 
sometimes I'd have a day off in between or something, but it was getting too much. Um, I've known for a while that this is beginning, a habit's beginning to form. But just wasn't ready to stop. Now I'm ready and I'm stopping. I'll update you this a few months time, but I'm stopping. Uh, it's not serving its purpose for me now. Um, and when I was vomiting the crap into the bucket, I saw that I saw this was letting go of the alcohol. Also red meat. Um, I'm going to go like a semi-vegetarian. I'm not I'm going to probably still eat fish just for the time being. I'll probably let go of that later down the track, but or red meats um, because it just hurts too much uh, with killing the animals and the way we treat them, the way we kill them. I've had enough. It, it's not incongruent with who I am. Um, and when I go out into the farmlands and I see the way we clear the lands, it just makes no sense to me anymore to, to be a part of this. So I'm stopping. It's finished. I've had enough. I'm letting go of this. I'm letting go of the alcohol. Um, it's over. It's over. There was also the opportunity to express love on this retreat. And, you know, I got to hear my brother um, occasionally when he was purging too. <laughs> I could tell it was his purge. I could tell it was his voice. <laughs> And um, for the first time um, in, I don't know if we've ever said it sort of face to face, but I got to tell him that I loved him. And he said, I love you, Jay. And I said, I love you, Matt. And I've been afraid of that word, the L word, in particular to my family. And as I wrote in my Facebook, I can tell I don't have any problem saying oh, I'll get fucked and you know fuck off and but why not love <laughs> so I did and it's given me a free sense and I got a chance to lay next to two beautiful people um, a beautiful guy and a beautiful girl whilst I was having this experience and just laying there and I'm not mentioning names because I'm protecting the privacy of the people but um, just laying there expressing gratitude and love deeply and this is not about a sexual love this has nothing to do with that this was a deep love a deeper love than that It was such an intense, beautiful moment of love and, and I feel so honoured um, to have had this experience and to have connected with people in different ways, in ways that I thought that weren't possible. I Yesterday, coming back from the retreat, I was saying I will never do this again. I will never, ever do this retreat, this ayahuasca again. Because it was hard. It was such hard work. It was hard beyond belief. It was sometimes like I called it living a, a living nightmare. So I'm not going to pretend it was easy and filled with all love because it wasn't. There was definitely dark parts coming up feelings of isolation feelings of being lost feelings of being totally on my own on my own away from everyone and unsafe but the support at this retreat was magnificent because when I asked and just called out could someone please just tell me if I'm safe and people would call out and say you are safe you are safe Jay you are loved and you are safe 
and I let go, then I allow that to just let go and unfold. I would be very aware of how much I take next time, and I would have the smallest of small doses. I would never have too much of this, ever. I mean, it's very powerful. And I must tell you guys, I've been, I've had eczema on my fingers for weeks now, and trying the creams the doctors gave me, like the steroid creams or whatever it is, and it was not healing. In fact, it was getting worse. Um, it's these fingers here, they're completely cleared up, completely gone. So that has already told me that this plant medicine, how powerful this is, and it must have been releasing a lot of crap, like really a lot of toxins for me. So um, I only found this out today, it's just gone. Um, if you want to experience ayahuasca, if, it, if you've got the calling to experience it, then by all means do it, look it up and, and go. Um, go. But research, please research and eat what foods you're meant to eat and what foods you're not meant to eat beforehand because you don't want to make it any worse than what it probably will be. <laughs> My stomach is still hurting now from vomiting. <laughs> um, If you fear it in any way, if it's an intense fear and you're just saying I should do it, don't do it. Because I heard some people's journeys um, in the de debriefing yesterday and some people had some very, 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 very horrific journeys. Um, that is probably gonna take them a long time to process and to deal with and, and maybe it's just the start of it. And I know this is just the start of it for me too. I know that there's so much work to be done. Um, and now I can say that maybe I will go back again one day. Not for a long time, not for whatever. I'm not gonna put a time frame on it, but I will go back. Because I think it's given me more than what I'd asked for. It was like a sledgehammer. <laughs> Heaven and hell in one go. A sledgehammer being hit over the head with life and love and darkness and light all at once. That's all I can say for now. I've, um, yeah, I'm lost for words. Okay. Maybe one day I'll do a follow-up video and where I can let you know how things are going a few months after the retreat. Love you. Bye-bye.